What is up guys, my name is Mr. Big and coming at you live with a, well, well just a top 5 really, I mean, I don't usually do this, but here are the top 5, well, E3 announced games or shown games at the press conference or wherever it was at E3. So these are the games that I'm most excited for, like hyped up for. But uh, first of all, an honourable mention goes to Dead Ri Dead Rising. No, sorry, Dead Island 2, because it was the str struggle between this fifth game and this game. But but I think it deserves an honourable mention because I liked the first two, Dead Island and Dead Island. Oh, what was the other one called? The Dead Island Riptide, I think. But anyways. Well, let's get on to the top five. Number five. And number five on the list is we got Rise of the Tomb Raider. Now, I loved the um, reboot, and I didn't mind the Tomb Raider games. I mean, it was alright, a bit clunky, but I certainly loved the um, Tomb Raider as a franchise. But I'll be looking forward to this game anyways. But, anyways, moving on. Number 4. Assassin's Creed Unity. Now, this this cannot be complete without um, Assassin's Creed. Well, any Assassin's Creed game. Because I'm a big fan. Well, I'm used to be a big fan of um, Assassin's Creed. Like, I've played the first one to Black Flag. I thought they were all great except from Free. Free just killed the franchise. What the hell, Ubisoft? But, like it says, I hope Assassin's Creed Unity is one of those games that re helps the franchise after Free. Plus, it has co op. Now, I'm not really a multiplayer person, but co op I love to bits. Now, the only reason I love co op more than multiplayer because co op is like. Tactical, like you had to speak to your teammate sometimes. But with multiplayer, you can just easily do it by yourself. But with not all games, though. I mean, take Planet Side 2 for an example. That takes tactics and coordination. Even though I never played it, but a lot of players say you need tactics and coordination. But let's hope it does what it's promised a very good co op, a very good single player story. And let's just hope it's a good game overall. Number three. Number three is the Batman Arkham Knight. Now, I have loved the Batman series. Like, the Batman video game series. I mean, I could... I could almost say it's my favourite comic... Actually, no, it is my favourite comic book to game of all time as a series. I mean I played Arkham Arkham Asylum. I played Arkham City, I played Arkham Origins. I thought they were all great games. Third one it was alright. It wasn't it wasn't big of a game as it w was hyped up for, but let's just hope this can be the same and plus it's the end of the series. They need to go bang. Like they need to go off in the bang. Like I can't describe this game, it's just so exciting. And plus you get to drive the Batmobile. Now, I don't like it how it has guns on it, because take a look at all these Batmobiles. Well, apart from the latest one, but the rest of them don't usually have guns on them. Like, not big heavy guns, but they usually have little small guns. I don't mind small guns on the side and everything, but it's just a big mass of tank guns just kind of spoils it, but I'm looking forward to driving it. Hope you can like reskin it though, so I can change it to the Christopher Nolan's or the original Batman mobiles. Number two, Rainbow Six Siege. Now, originally this was going to be Rainbow Six Patriots, and I'm not really a Rainbow Six fan. I mean, I played Rainbow Six Vegas 2. I didn't really like that game so much, but this, 
this is actually co-op and it looks absolutely fun to play and I'm actually so excited for it more than the Arkham Knight so well surprisingly I mean the way it looks like the way it plans out everything it's like real life it's well you gotta have to plan it well in a different way you can't just go straight in gun gun guns bang bang in those types of games I'm not too interested but this game I, I love just because it's just got tactical real life situations I think but I'm not gonna get too in depth because here comes number one number one destiny now destiny it looks like those games I've been waiting for. I've been waiting for like an MMO first person shooter that doesn't, you know, confuses the hell out of you. Like with screams there, there, and there. <coughs> cough, cough, DC Universe Online. But it looks like one of those games I've been looking forward to put onto consoles and not onto PC. Well, even though Planet Side 2 is basically the same, but I want it on console, really. I mean, I know it's coming to the PS4, but I could say this is the first. First the first, I think. Not unless if it's out already. But I'm definitely looking forward to Destiny. I'm looking forward to the customization on it. I mean, blimey, I love customizations. I'm not sure if I'm being a bit dull and boring, but I just love to customize my character. And just go out in the world as what it's there for. So, anyways, guys, do you disagree with me? Put it down in the comments below of what games that came out in E3 that you're excited for. So, like it if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new. Don't forget to check out my Facebook and Twitter in the description below. And I'll see you guys one more. See you guys.